Hi everyone, this is Christian from Ubaish. Today I'd like to try a quick data world modeling exercise with you guys. This exercise has originally been created for the data modeling meetup Munich back in the day when there were still physical meetups. And I wasn't sure how to translate uh, this uh, into an online setting. But fortunately, the guys from Genesee Academy gave me the right idea to use Jamboard, which is uh, quite a neat tool for an exercise like this. So let's see how it goes. We are trying to create a, a little data world model for a company called Foodbike. So what, what is Foodbike? Foodbike is an up and coming uh, food delivery service company that is present in multiple major cities around the globe. With the Foodbike app or website, you can order dishes from a list of restaurants in your city. And I guess you know how this goes. A bike courier will pick uh, the dishes up at the, the restaurant and bring them to your house. And when you've eaten the dishes, you can rate the delivery and the quality of the food on a one to five star scale. So how to build a data world model for the, this kind of company? If you know a little bit about data world modeling, then you know it's all about the core business concepts. So I've suggested a few core business concepts that might help you with building the model. We probably need a city where the restaurants are, where the customers live. We need the courier that does the heavy lifting. We need a customer, of course, to buy stuff. We need the dishes so that the customer can buy something. We need orders so that the dishes can get to the customer. We might need some kind of rating. And of course, we need restaurants because someone has to prepare the dishes, right? So let's start. We're creating the backbone of a data world model, just hubs and links for food bike. Not on a whiteboard or flip chart because of, yeah, you know why. So we're using Jamboard. Let's see uh, how this goes. I've already prepared a few uh, possible hubs and, and links uh, so that uh, you don't have to uh, sit through a one hour video. So let's uh, start. We definitely need uh, a city where, where all the stuff happens. We also, of course, we need a customer. There's probably some kind of relationship between the, uh, the customer and, and the city. So ju just imagine the customer registers with your app or with your website. And you want to show uh, the, the customer some restaurants that are available to him or her. So we need something like customer home city so that uh, you know what, what restaurants uh, are possible for the customer and also the customer knows which restaurants to pick from. So something like that. Then of course, the customer wants something. He or she has to order something. Some, someone has to, to uh, deliver the order, so we need the courier. Someone has to prepare the order. We need the restaurant. Let's see how, how to put this without too much rework. So we, we definitely need something that, that connects uh, the, the customer, the courier, the restaurant. The order, let's, let's call this order header, shall we? So it's the order header. Yeah. And of course, we, we need to, uh, the dishes, right? So we have something connecting the, the, the order and the dish. And probably we, we can order more than, than, than one dish. And we also have to store the actual price of the dish, st st stuff like that. So I think we need, need an, another hub for the uh, line item or order line. Let's say order line item, save. So we have something like this. Let's call this order detail, for example. Ah, no, not, uh, not too bad. So 
we have a home city for the customer. We probably also have a, have a home city for, for the courier where, where the, he or she works. So courier, home city. Nice. So we know where the customer is, we know where, where the courier is, we, we know uh, where, where our dishes come from, from the restaurant, the courier brings them to the customer, that's the order, we have the dishes, we have the line item for storing the quantities, prices, and, and so on of the dishes. So there's just the rating missing. And actually, I'm not quite sure at this point when we don't have a sophisticated rating system. We just have our order and it's rated with one to five stars. If, if we really have a core business concept here, if we really need to hop here. So let's just say this is a satellite on, on the order rating satellite. We can make it a little bit smaller, I guess. No, we can't. Okay, the, the, then that's the final thing just move it around a bit so that it looks a, bit, a little bit nicer. So we have the customer home city, we have the career home city, we have the order header that connects the customer, the courier, the restaurant and, and the order itself. The order can be rated and we have the order detail that connects the order, the dish, and the, the line item that stores the price and so on. And I'll just delete the superfluous links. Yeah, looks nice, right? So let's uh, get ba back to the original uh, exercise really quickly to see if we have done everything. So we are present, present in multiple major cities. We can obviously do deliveries. We can order dishes from restaurants. Our restaurants in your city, so probably it would, would be nice to also have some kind of connection between the restaurant and the city. So let's see how this works. <laughs> I think now, now we need some lines. So just when I thought we didn't need the last link, the, that's the link. So restaurant home city safe. And I guess now I really have to use some lines so that the connection is clear. So restaurant, city, customer, city, career, city. The order header is connected to customer, career, order, restaurant. The order detail link is of course connected to the order itself, to the dish and the line item. And let's move the rating satellite really quickly and connect it as well with some nice line. Perfect, I guess that's it. What do you think? Any questions? Just ask me in the, in the comments or write me a message on, on other social media websites, whatever. Looking forward to, to hearing from you.